What have you heard about Nanin? Nanin is so unknown that even many Chinese people do not know about it. Meanwhile, Nanin is called Green City of China for a reason. Located in the southern part of China, close to the border with Vietnam, it has so many beautiful green parks that you always feel you are in the middle of nature. I feel like Nanin is unfairly underrated. That is why, in this video, I want to take you to a virtual tour with me. All sites from this video can be seen just in one day and will be definitely worth discovering for a first-time traveler. If you come here. So, let us discover Nanin. What cities do you know in China? Most of you will name Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, or Chengdu. Yes, these are very popular cities among tourists and experts, but what about other hidden gems that no one talks about? Nanin is one of them. It is the capital city of Guangxi, one of the most beautiful provinces in southern China. Green is the symbol for Nanin, as half of the region is covered by rich evergreen scenery, hence its nickname, the Green City of China. It is located on the north bank of the Yon River. Formerly known mainly as a commercial and administrative center, it was a supply base for communist forces during the anti-French war in Southeast Asia and the Vietnam War. Today, Nanin is attracting more and more visitors every year. Nanin may not boast of historical monuments or unusual architecture, but Nanin does offer an opportunity to enjoy nature in its numerous parks. Nanin People's Park is one of them. Built in 1951, it is also known as White Dragon Park. In Chinese, Beilong Gongyuan, because of the White Dragon Lake inside the park. It is very beautiful, with many bridges and boardwalks, so if you have time, definitely visit it. My personal favorite spot in Nanin is this Nanhu Park, and you can easily see why. Established in 1972, Nanhu Park is home to a large variety of subtropical plants, including palm trees and my favorite, bonsai trees. They are everywhere here and are nicely trimmed. The fantastic mixture of subtropical gardening landscapes and aquatic scenery attracts more than 5 million visitors each year. Look at how these tall modern skyscrapers line up along all this greenery. It seems like a striking contrast, but it feels harmonious altogether. And this is all what Nanin is about. <laughs> Take 
take your next step at the square in front of the Qinxiu Mountain. Qinxiu Mountain is a must check in landscape in Nanning City. At the foot of the mountain, there is a park with traditional Chinese buildings where people leisurely walk, take photos in traditional Chinese clothes, and enjoy their time. Then, you need to climb up to the top of the Qinxiu mountain. It is situated about 9 kilometers away from the southeast of Nanning city and has an altitude of about 82 meters to 189 meters above sea level. Proclaimed as the giant land of Nanning city, it is renowned for its pleasant climate culture charm and marvelous green scenery for all four seasons. Therefore, more than 1,200,000 visitors flock to the Qinxiu mountain each year as it's becoming one of the most popular tourist destinations in Guangxi. From the observation deck, you can enjoy a view over the entire city of Nanning. When you are there, don't miss an opportunity to visit Wanshou Guanyin Temple. You will need to pay 5 yuan to enter. Guanyin Temple was built in the Northern Song Dynasty 980 years ago. It is a famous Buddhist holy place in Guangxi and the scent of burning incense is quite strong. Guanyin is the Chinese name which translates to observing the sounds or cries of the world. Guanyin is the Bodhisattva of compassion and mercy. The southern handed Guanyin pavilion is said to be made of the largest sandal wood in Southeast Asia. It is home to thousands of hands and eyes Guanyin and the largest jade sleeping Buddha carved by the Myanmar royal family in the world.
Your final step in your one-day trip to Nanin may be completed with visiting an old Nanin street called Lao Nanin Sanjie Liancian, better known as Three Streets to Alleys. It refers to the three streets of Xinmin Street, Minshen Street, and Jiefen Street, as well as two ancient alleys, Jinshi Alley and Yinshi Alley. has a vast memory of Nanin. Here you can see the architecture of the Song dynasty with Lingnan characteristics. There are many arcade buildings with historical features as well as Xinhui Academy and other buildings containing the history and culture of ancient times in Nanin city. Here you can taste Guangxi's special snacks and stroll around the lively pedestrian street to feel the real vibe of Nanning. I hope in my video I convinced you to visit Nanning and now you can see why it's worth a visit. For those who don't know, I lived in Shanghai three years and I was able to feel the spirit of this diverse country of China. Check out my videos about Shanghai by clicking these links above. Please like and comment under this video as it helps immersely for my YouTube ranking. I really appreciate your support. See you in my next video!